What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Overlord. Today we are doing Season 4, Episode 3. This one is called the Baja Ruth Empire. Very excited to continue where we left off. Albedo and Renner doing some sneaky deaky shit. Um, who knows what Renner needs to open that box? Who knows what kind of sadistic shit she has planned? I mean, literally everyone, Albedo, Demir, all of them have planned, to be honest. But very excited to find out what's going on with our Sorcerer King. I said we hop right on into this. Don't forget, if you guys want full length, the full unedited version, check out that Patreon. You can also check out early access to all the rest of the shows there as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into this. Overlord, Season 4, Episode 3, The Baja Ruth Empire. <laughs> ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、ちょ、
That is true. That is a way to counter undead with holy magic. He's so stressed from everything going on, he's starting to lose his hair. So they're speaking in code. Yep. Okay, so he's making some alliances. Yep. We're starting to have some build-ups going on. Like, when this actually does all hit the fan, like, it's going to be crazy. Silver Threadbirds, who we're going to visit right now. Also Adamantite. Okay. This is a rough scenario. This is a rough situation. I do somewhat feel bad for Jerknev. Just being a king, feeling this much stress, trying to protect his people, you know? That is true. But, I don't know, man. This is rough. This is the Colosseum I keep seeing in the opening. Is this what some shit's gonna go down? I mean, they still have the Godkin. I'm excited as hell to see them. A silver thread birds. See, it's my issue with a lot of characters, especially tertiary characters like this in the show. Sometimes I'll write their names down, then they'll end up dying like two episodes from now. And I'm like, fuck. Okay, he looks badass. So this is the Colosseum. Very excited for some shit to go down here. I get where he's coming from, and I get where his stress levels are, you know? The warrior king, huh? Yeah, this is peaceful, huh? I mean, yes, ignorance is bliss. Okay. Head priest. Oh, yep. I think these are two of the ones that we're meeting at the slain table. So let's see what develops of this. I really think they're building this season up a lot in terms of the politics and like where it's going to lead. And I'm very excited. The warrior king. So they get challenged, and if you beat them, you take over the title. Warrior King, eighth in line. Mm. So this might be the guy we've seen in the opening, because he called, uh, what's his name, just called him a war troll. Huh? It's like me. So this has to be what I saw in the opening then. If it's the troll, war troll versus Ions, oh yeah. Like they're assuming this is some deception. I mean, if you guys truly believe that, you guys can still leave. I don't think Ions actually knows you're here, but... Uh, did Ions know? Like, what is... <laughs> Coincidence is such a scary thing when you're someone like I. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, very weird, but it, <laughs> it works for the moment. Like an emergency request us to pull away, but you can ask him later. Obviously, he didn't betray them, but I'm, I am wondering how Ainz knew or didn't know, you know? Damn, and now he's looking like an idiot in front of the slain theocracy. 
Damn, this was a huge misunderstanding, and that sucks for <laughs> Jerkniv. I actually kind of feel bad that he was just trying to do some shit, and he got fucking outed. Yes. Have a small taste. Have a small taste, just so you know. Let, let me know if you have a plan afterwards, and then we can talk. God damn, am I ready for this fight? The hero of the Coliseum? The battle troll. Yeah, Jerknip wants him to win so bad. He's like, that was the end of the episode? Okay, I know I've said it multiple times up until this point, but they're really building this season up and they're really starting to do some stuff in, be in between these main plot points that I'm getting excited about. I like the reintroduction and re-bringing up of some characters we've met from the Slain Theocracy before. The Godkin, who they hyped him up at the, I'm pretty sure the beginning of season three, we hadn't seen from them for a while. That was when they saw Rigrit, the dragon, all this, that, or the other. And we def I definitely know there are dragons in this season because I saw it during the opening. I know this next episode with this Coliseum match is about to be insane. Oh man, I am very excited. I genuinely feel bad for Nyx. I, I wouldn't have had I seen him before because he was kind of like a pompous, arrogant king style. But now he's truly had some self-realization and somewhat humblings. And it's like, I, he's so stressed. I feel so bad for him. And then he was like, finally, maybe I can make something work. And then he gets outed by Ayn. So like, what are the odds that Ayn shows up here? I knew he would come eventually, but I did not think it was going to be this episode. So shouts out to that hopefully some crazy fights can go on soon shouts out to albedo and her love needing a kiss goodbye i don't know you know what i'm saying thoroughly enjoy this episode that's all i can say hopefully you guys did as well if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell all that jazz don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace